Good morning. Welcome back to Draw My Life. Christmas time is in the air again. Are you guys excited? I am. If so, let us know in the comments. Share this video if you enjoyed it. Click the like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Everything you are about to hear in this small clip is factual. We hope you like it. Okay. Here we go. So Barbie is a fashion doll manufactured by the American toy company Mattel, Inc., and launched in March 1959. American businesswoman Ruth Handler is credited with the creation of the doll using a German doll called Bild Lily as her inspiration. Barbie is the figurehead of a brand of Mattel dolls and accessories, including other family members and collectible dolls. Barbie has been an important part of the toy fashion doll market for over 50 years, and has been the subject of numerous controversies and lawsuits, often involving parodies of the doll and her lifestyle. Mattel has sold over a billion Barbie dolls, making it the company's largest and most profitable line. However, sales have declined sharply since 2014. The doll transformed the toy business in affluent communities worldwide by becoming a vehicle for the sale of related merchandise, accessories, clothes, friends of Barbie, etc. She had a significant impact on social values by conveying characteristics of female independence, and with her multitude of accessories, an idealized upscale lifestyle that can be shared with affluent friends. Starting in 1987, Barbie has expanded into a media franchise, including animated films, television specials, video games, and music. The first Barbie doll was introduced in both Blonde and Brunette in March 1959. Ruth Handler watched her daughter Barbara play with paper dolls, and noticed that she often enjoyed giving them adult roles. At the time, most children's toy dolls were representations of infants. Realizing that there could be a gap in the market, Handler suggested the idea of an adult-bodied doll to her husband Elliot, a co-founder of the Mattel Toy Company. He was unenthusiastic about the idea, as were Mattel's directors. In June 2001, MGA Entertainment launched the Bratz series of dolls, a move that gave Barbie her first serious competition in the fashion doll market. In 2004, sales figures showed that Bratz dolls were outselling Barbie dolls in the United Kingdom, although Mattel maintained that in terms of the number of dolls, clothes, and accessories sold, Barbie remained the leading brand 96 in 2005, figures showed that sales of Barbie dolls had fallen by 30% in the United States, and by 18% worldwide, with much of the drop being attributed to the popularity of Bratz dolls. In December 2006, Mattel sued MGA Entertainment for $500 million, alleging that Bratz creator Carter Bryant was working for Mattel when he developed the idea for Bratz. On July 17, 2008, a federal jury agreed that the Bratz line was created by Carter Bryant while he was working for Mattel and that MGA and its chief executive officer Isaac Larian were liable for converting Mattel property for their own use and intentionally interfering with the contractual duties owed by Bryant to Mattel. On August 26, the jury found that Mattel would have to be paid $100 million in damages. On December 3, 2008, U.S. District Judge Stephen Larson banned MGA from selling Bratz. He allowed the company to continue selling the dolls until the winter holiday season ended. On appeal, a stay was granted by the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. The court also overturned the district court's original ruling for Mattel, where MGA Entertainment was ordered to forfeit the entire Bratz brand. Mattel Incorporated and MGA Entertainment Incorporated returned to court on January 18, 2011 to renew their battle over who owns Bratz, which this time includes accusations from both companies that the other side stole trade secrets. On April 21, 2011, a federal jury returned a verdict supporting MGA. On August 5, 2011, Mattel was also ordered to pay MGA $310 million for attorney fees, stealing trade secrets, and false claims rather than the $88.5 million issued in April. In August 2009, MGA introduced a range of dolls called Moxie Girls, intended as a replacement for Bratz dolls. Barbie products include not only the range of dolls with their clothes and accessories, but also a large range of Barbie-branded goods such as books, apparel, cosmetics, and video games. 
Barbie has had a media franchise starting with Barbie in the Nutcracker in 2001, when she began appearing in a series of animated films. Barbie's direct-to-DVD animated films have sold over 110 million units worldwide, as of 2013. In addition, the brand has had two television specials in 1987, Barbie and the Rockers, Out of This World and Barbie and the Sensations, Rockin' Back to Earth, as well as a hit song, Barbie Girl, 1997, by Aqua. She is also a supporting character in the Mycene films as well as in the Pixar films Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3. Barbie has become a cultural icon and has been given honors that are rare in the toy world. In 1974, a section of Times Square in New York City was renamed Barbie Boulevard for a week. The Musée de Arts Décoratifs, Paris at the Louvre held a Barbie exhibit in 2016. The exhibit featured 700 Barbie dolls over two floors as well as works by contemporary artists and documents, newspapers, photos, video, that contextualize Barbie. In 1986, the artist Andy Warhol created a painting of Barbie. The painting sold at auction at Christie's, London for $1.1 million. In 2015, the Andy Warhol Foundation then teamed up with Mattel to create an Andy Warhol Barbie. Outsider artist Al Carby took thousands of photographs of Barbie and created countless collages and dioramas featuring Barbie in various settings. Carby was the subject of the feature-length documentary Magical Universe. Carby's collage art was presented in the 2016 Barbie exhibit at the Musée de Arts Décoratifs, Paris in the section about visuals artists who have been inspired by Barbie. In 2013, in Taiwan, the first Barbie-themed restaurant called Barbie Café opened under the Sinleika Group. The Economist has emphasized the importance of Barbie to children's imagination.